high school. When you see or hear those two words, what first comes to your mind? No matter who you are, what age you are, or your specific journey, we all have emotions and memories that come to us when you hear or see those two words. Three years ago, I came up with the idea for Learn What Matters, which if you don't already know, is about creating a global movement for high schoolers and helping them understand how to invest in their personal development. So for the last three years, I spent a lot of time speaking to, to people about high school, their experiences, and especially if they're an alumni, have they gone back and been engaged. And so I have found that there are two groups of people There's the first group of people whose face often looks like this emoji. They're excited, they like speaking about high school, they had a good experience, they're often engaged as an alum, or very open to the idea of going back and being engaged. Then there's the second group, which their face is often one of these two emojis. There's discomfort, there's apathy, they don't really want to speak about high school, they're all about looking ahead instead of looking back. And it's very hard to convince them to go back to their high school. And so if you ask me which group I was in, for a while I was in that second group. In 2011, I graduated from Freeland High School, which is in New Jersey. And even though you see me smiling in this photo, my high school experience was quite a roller coaster ride. Even though I was the star student who got excellent grades, I spent a majority of time in my high school anxious, depressed, and suicidal due to the effects of being bullied. And so I graduated and I didn't hate high school completely, but I was someone who really wanted to forget a lot about who I was and what I experienced during that time. But as I thought of the idea for Learn What Matters, and I was building, trying to build this movement for high school students, I thought to myself, I probably should go back to my high school and probably start there. And so in May 2018, I received this message from a supervisor of the AVID program at my high school asking me to come back and speak to four classes. And so I decided to go back and to speak about how I navigated my journey from Freel High School to starting to work at Google and launching Learn What Matters. And it came at the perfect timing. I happened to be going back to Freehold and I, was, I had been ready to go back. So I went and I spoke to the four classes and I held nothing back. And I spoke about a lot of stuff in 45 minutes, probably gave them too much information about me. I spoke about my greatest successes, my greatest failures, and all the lessons I learned through each of them. I even opened up about how in that first classroom, it was the first, it was the classroom that had given me the most anxiety when I was a freshman. But I told them that this was the day I finally take something that was negative and carried a lot of pain for me from the past and was transforming it into something positive and of purpose so that no longer would I be afraid of this room anymore, but I would be more open and actually want to come back here. And so after I, after I um, presented, I would have students come up to me. And there was three in particular that really stuck out and I always remember. There was one girl who came to me and said, Mallory, thank you so much for coming. You gave me hope when I was going through a really dark time. I had another student come up to me and say, I suffer with depression. You're the first person I'm telling, but because you are able to tell other people, I'm now gonna go tell my girlfriend and potentially other people as well. My favorite probably was this one student who was rushing to get out of class and he turns around and he says, Miss, Thank you so much for coming. I normally sleep every day in this class. I hate it, but I loved your presentation. He was quite the troublemaker, and his teacher was very um, surprised that he was saying that. Uh, and so what I learned when I went back to my high school is how important high school alumni engagement is. High school alumni engagement truly matters. It matters to the students, and it equally matters to the alumni going back. 
See, I also realized that going back to my high school wasn't just about giving back to the students and, get, and helping them on their personal growth journey. It was actually helping me with my own journey as well. And so I often now wonder what would have happened if I had an alumni come back and tell me it was going to be okay. Maybe someone who had experienced bullying, who had suffered with mental health issues. Maybe I would have gotten a little bit more hope sooner on. I wonder what the students I helped, had I not gone back, but if they got in hope, but if they got an encouragement to tell someone about their struggles, maybe that student now hopefully pays attention more in class. And I wonder, had I not gone back, would I have not gotten the confirmation I needed to really know and trust that learn what matters truly is my purpose in life. And so after um, going to those four classes, I went back again. I went back for the job and career fair. I launched the Learn What Matters Foundation Scholarship, which has a portion of it. Um, our panel is actually an alumni panel, and they get alumni mentorship as well, not just a financial scholarship. And I stay in touch with a lot of the students that I've gone and, and met along my journey. I even had one person tell me that when they went to the job and career fair, the only reason they were going is because they heard I was coming back. See, high school to me now, and specifically my high school, brings so much joy to me. I never thought at 14 years old, who dreaded, who feared going into high school, will one day now be wanting to go to high schools all over across the globe and be wanting any opportunity to go back to real high school. And so if high school could bring me so much joy, I hope it brings all of you some joy one day, if not today. So I challenge each and every one of you who's in this, in this auditorium or who's watching one day, this year, find one way that you can invest in, alum, in high school alumni engagement. So if you're a school administrator or teacher, maybe that means starting a database and already starting with the alumni that you're connected with and then asking those people how they want to be involved and then seeing if they know any other people that can also come and be involved as well. If you're a high school student, maybe that's starting a club, maybe that will help bridge the connection between high schoolers and, their, and the alumni. Maybe it's just knowing and telling yourself when you graduate one day, don't make that be the last time that you step foot in your high school. Or maybe you're simply an alum like how I was, and you don't have to go crazy and start a scholarship fund and create a whole purpose around high school, but start small. Maybe that's just going back to speak to one class, even virtually, you have no excuses because I'm 3,000 miles away from mine. Or maybe it's going to speak with one student who's interested in the same college that you went to, or you're interested in the same career path that you're currently on. Just start somewhere and see what happens. You never know. You could change the entire trajectory of someone else's life or potentially even your own. So I leave you with these two words, high school. I don't know what you thought about when I first said them or when you read them, but I hope now you first think of opportunities. Thank you.